Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LMB18 franchise with the New York Mets. This is episode 20. So if you guys are on look for a playlist in my channel. And before I get this video started, um, just like I mentioned before, I want you guys to be my co-GMs with the New York Mets. So that basically means if you want somebody to be called up, if you guys want some somebody to be traded, or even released, or just moved around the lineup, let me know in the comments below. And if it makes sense, I'll try it out. And um, someone actually here commented on my last video, rather episode 18, it just says get Bryce Harper. And I still try to trade Yoannis, but if it comes out more than that, I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. Um, but here we are, we're going to try to trade Yoannis Cespedes for uh, Bryce Harper, which would be very interesting. But doubt's gonna happen. Um, all right, straight up, they're not gonna do it. As simple as that. Um, there is somebody else that I want to try to get, though. Probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna give it a shot. Me. Who else can I trade? Oh come on! You guys want to get him, don't you? I mean, I try to get my trout, <laughs> um, but yeah, well, I guess I can't pull that off. Um, so we're gonna play this game um, against the Brewers in Milwaukee. Um, this is gonna be Zach Wheeler's uh, attempt at a fourth win. Uh, he has a crazy ERA, 1.93 against Jordan Montgomery, who's four and four to 6.5 ERA. Um, you know, unfortunately, I was unable to do that trade. Um, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? And uh, If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell to be basically told whenever I come out with a new video. And uh, if you like what you see by the end of the video, smash the thumbs up button. I'll leave any comments below. And let's see, just fix around the lineups here. Do I have a righty outfielder? No, I don't. So you want us, we'll get the day off putting Brandon Nimmo in the three spot. Uh, so we got Ahmed Rosario, Estrual Cabrera, Brandon Nimmo, Michael Conforto, Todd Frazier, followed by Travis Darno, Juan Lagares, and Wilmer Flores. Brandon Nimmo drives it to right field, right center field rather, and it's out of here. That is a home run by Brandon Nimmo, and the Mets are up early one to nothing here in the first. Wow, I didn't even think I would really get a hold of that, but Brandon Nimmo was able to just power it up over the fence here in Miller Park. Mickey Callaway excited for the early lead. And the man that just keeps on smiling, Brandon Nimmo. Conforto goes opposite way, and it's going to drop. This might be a, just a double, I guess. Go on the opposite field. Michael Conforto exploits the shift. And that is his 16th double of the year. Michael Conforto continues to be hot for the Mets. 2-2 two two to Ryan Braun. That's a deeply hit ball. But it's just going to die right in warning track. And that's out number 3 in the first. 1-2 to Eric Thames. Here in the second. That is a swing and a miss on a filthy curveball. Two and two to Domingo Santana. Looking for back-to-back -back strikeouts. Real throws. And he gets it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here in the second. One and two to Jonathan VR. Here in the fourth. Man's on the corner. It's going to be a base hit. It's going to be tied one to one. That is an RBI single by Jonathan VR. Full count to Christian Yelich with a man on first. Might be a double play ball. Out of second. Out of first. That is a big double play. 
for Zach Wheeler and the Mets. Getting Lorenzo Kin out of first, then Christian Yelich out of second. They are not slow people. So that was a very quickly turned double play from Rosario to, to uh, Frazier to Bruce. Two and two to Thames. Tie game here in the sixth. That's going to be a solo shot out of here. That's going to be two to one. Milwaukee. That is a solo shot by Eric Thames, and there comes the Brewer mascot coming down from the slide. All right, so this is our last attempt to win or even tie this game. Josh Hader's coming in for the save for the Brewers. He has 16 saves of the season with a 2.8 ERA. Let's see what we can do with the Mets. We got Conforto up first. Hits off the pitcher. He's going to be out still. Oh my gosh, this is what I hate about the ball hitting the pitcher. They don't go down. It hit him right in the arm or whatever. Hit him right in the body. And there's no injury. He drives it to deep right field. It could go. It could go. We could tie the game. And it's out of here. It's a tie game by Todd Frazier. That's the ninth inning match by Todd Frazier here in the ninth inning. Hater giving up the game. Montgomery with a beautiful pitch game, but guess what? It is now basically back to 0 0 here in the ninth. That home run by Todd Frazier was so clutch. Let's take a look at our replay here. Just going the opposite direction. I really didn't think he got a hold of that. Just over the right field fence. That got him looking. He doesn't believe it. That is out number two here in the bottom of the ninth. Three and two to Ahmed Rosario with two outs. Here in the tenth. Pitch comes and is launched to left field. That is a no doubter. What a time for Ahmed Rosario to hit a home run. It is now 3-2 Mets with some two-out magic. That's his first home of the year. <laughs> wow, what a, again, what a time for Rosario to hit a home run as he reaches home plate. It is not one of those, maybe it's gone. It was definitely out of the ballpark. As soon as he made contact, he knew that was going in the stands, man. A deep shot. Mets are up three to two. All right, here comes Familia going for his twentieth save. He had one blown save, I believe, this entire season with three point two ERA. Let's try to beat him here. Full count to Ryan Braun. Got him on the inside. That is strike number three. Now number two here in the 10th. I didn't think that was a strike. I thought that was going to be a walk, to be honest. That was so borderline. It's not even funny. Let's take a look at it here. Boom. Cat the nips. Nips the inside. Wow. Two and two to Thames. Familiar throws. It's going to be a grounder to Rosario. It's going to be out at first. Ball game over. And the Mets win here in 10 innings. Three to two. Uh, thank uh, you can thank Ahmed Rosario with that solo home run in the 10th inning what an unlikely source of a home run to be honest um, that is I believe that's his first home of the year um, he is wow coming in clutch for the Mets let's take a look at it. I think I believe that's his first home run Rosario's first home run it is uh, and then hit his second and then Frazier hit his 16th wow Thank goodness for Ahmed Rosario because we might still be playing. Uh, Flamengo did get, get his 20th save of the season. AJ Ramos got his first save of the se uh, first one of the season, and it looks like Brandon Nimmo is the player of the game, going one for four. I honestly would have made Ahmed Rosario the player of the game, but you know, whatever. And uh, I'm gonna change things up here just a little bit. Uh, for every three-game series, I'm just gonna play one of them. Uh, one game, one game, maybe. Uh, I feel like if I do every other game, I'm still in May. <laughs> it 
it's already July, I haven't even gone to June schedule yet, so uh, I'm gonna simulate it and then... Who started this game? I don't even remember. It was... Who is it? Wheeler. Wheeler's the one that started this. So, let's see, we're gonna jump to the next game. It's gonna be Steven Matz, maybe? Um, I guess I could have Steven Matz really pitch. Let me see who... Let me just double check who picks the last game, or the last episode rather. So it was Wheeler, checking on my computer right now, I apologize. Uh, I know there's a bullpen, blown bullpen deal. Let me see who pitched. Let me see who pitched. I believe it was Steven Matz. Um, so... I might fast forward um, into Jacob DeGrom's next start. I guess for if it's a four game series, I'll, I'll play every other game. And then if it's a three game series, I'll play one of the games in the series. So it's probably going to be Arietta next um, after DeGrom. But yeah, uh, the next episode I'll be playing is against the Brewers. And what is this? Let's have him end this thing itself. Uh, Simic end game. The Mets end up winning. 5 0 behind Noah Syndergaard. The two hitter. Wow. Um, they end up winning 5 0. Frazier hit another home run. Cabrera drove in two as well. Syndergaard. His bat has been amazing for the Mets right now. Um, let's take a look at the pitching here. Noah Syndergaard. Complete game. Two hit. Nine strikeouts. Brings down his ERA to a 2.5. Uh, so again, the next episode we'll be playing is against the Brewers again. It is going for the sweep. Um, it's going to be, who is this? Jacob DeGrom versus Brent Suter, Sutter. He is 5-1 with 2.5 ERA. And we got Jacob DeGrom going for his 10th win uh, with a 2.2 ERA. Um, before I finish this game, remember, you guys are the GM or my, my co-GMs for the Mets. If you guys want to see me try to pull off a trade, let me know in the comments. Um, I did try uh, to get Bryce Harper um, as per request of um, a viewer. It didn't really work out too well. But let me know what else you guys want to see. Um, not too much coming in for the for my Mets franchise. But again, I want to see more suggestions. I want to see more uh, things going on. I want to move people around uh, with your advice. Uh, so again, leave me in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, click the thumbs up button. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.